Welcome back, everybody. It is now 818. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And now more than ever, it's important to be aware of what you're going through, what you're feeling. The National Alliance of Mental Illness, also known as NAMI, here to discuss this further. And we'd like to welcome the CEO of NAMI San Diego and Imperial County. Catherine, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. And we also have Devin joining us. You are a peer support counselor, is that right? Peer support specialist. Specialist, yes. Yeah. So thank you for being both of, both of you, obviously, here with us. It's such an important topic, but a hard one uh, to get into. So let's discuss, first of all, what NAMI here in San Diego does. Sure. NAMI San Diego, we uh, started as a grassroots organization about 43 years ago. So we um, provide support services. We advocate, educate, and provide support for anybody who's been affected by a mental health concern or a mental illness. We like to change the dialogue and say mental health concern. Mm -hmm. Everything from direct services such as clubhouses, providing support in our psychiatric hospitals, to educating our family and peers on what mental illness is all about, mm -hmm. how to successfully live in recovery, and also housing through employment, you pretty much, you name it, because mental health affects every aspect right. of our life. Of course, and I think it's something everyone at some point in their life goes through, right? Uh, you mentioned uh, success in recovery. So Devin, <laughs> you are proof of that. Let's talk a little bit about your story. If you could share with us uh, what you went through. Okay, well, um, I am in a wheelchair uh, as a direct experience of mental illness. Um, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, I was in denial, and I was doing my own thing, smoking a lot of pot, not going to, um, you know, the, the things that I know now are things that I need to be do doing, like mm -hmm. group support mm -hmm. and uh, counseling. And um, what, what really happened is, um, uh, after being in a wheelchair, I accepted that I needed help. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got into NAMI, and that's when I volunteered, I took classes, I became a mentor, okay. which is, and I also became a facilitator. So I got all in and it changed my whole identity and I wasn't ashamed wow. of having a mental illness. Where before, I was just in denial and I did not want to have that sort of affiliation. Mm -hmm. But now I've been really comfortable in my identity. I'm a peer support specialist, which means I help people where they're at, uh, especially those that are in depression, even those that are in suicidal. It's like, hey, talk to me, I've been yeah. there. Um, you know, it's, you're in a lose-lose situation. Mm -hmm. Either you are going to hurt yourself, which is pretty much you're not going to be um, successful and you're going to hurt yourself mm -hmm. really bad, or right. you're going to hurt other people if right. you are successful. And once people get that kind of perspective, it's like, you know, um, we can make it. Mm -hmm. We can make it. Uh, tell me real quick, I know we are limited on time here, so I know this is a very deep topic, but as far as when you were going through what you were going through, uh, to our viewers at home who may be going through their own dark times, what was it that kept you from getting help? I think that's an important message because someone at home right now might be going through something like, I don't want to call anybody. I'm, I, I'll just be alone mm -hmm. now. Uh, we don't want them to be alone, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, tell what message do you want to share about that? Well, um, having a purpose, I mean, even though I don't know exactly what my purpose is at the point, but just knowing that I had a purpose mm -hmm. uh, has helped me once I get down to depression, not get too low. Mm -hmm. And also that you're, they're not alone. There's right. groups out there, not just NAMI, but there's all these different organizations that you just go online and you can find a group, you can do it online, or people are starting to meet in person. Mm -hmm. And when you see other people that are, that are going through something similar as you, or see even worse than you, it's like, man, if they can make it, then you know, what's my excuse? Right, right. And Devin, I mean, obviously your purpose to help so many people who uh, may be in that dark place. So we're so glad that you're able to be here today and talk to us about it. So thank you. Organizations like NAMI obviously are there for help. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you both for being on with us. Thank you so much for having of us. Course. Such an important topic. Yeah. yeah, and we do have all the links on our website, cbsa.com, for you to get all the information you may need for any kind of assistance. We have a quick break. We'll be right back.